In this tutorial, I will explain the multi-class classifier by using one versus all classification technique. I will also demonstrate the entire system through standard machine learning dataset and csr.net based system. Now to classify the multi-class classification, multi-class data. Suppose our data set has n classes, then according to one versus all technique, we will prepare total n by different binary classifiers. For example, suppose we have a table with uh, total 11 records and uh, each record has three fields. And our data set contains total four different classes. In this case, to apply the one versus all classification technique, we will prepare total four different binary classifiers. Now, how to prepare the different binary classifiers in this case? So in this case, our first binary classifier will contain the training set having all the records with class 1 will show positive class sign and rest of the class will show negative class sign. Similarly, to prepare the second binary classifier our second training data set will use positive class symbol for all records which belongs to the class 2 and for the rest of them we will use negative class symbol. Similarly for third binary classifier all the classes related to all the records related to class 3 will be positively classified will will be assigned a positive class level and rest of them will get negative class level and similarly for the last or fourth binary classifier last two records of our data set will get positive class level plus one and rest of them will get minus, minus class level or minus one now we will have total four different training sets. We will use classification techniques like uh, SVM or any regression based classifier to train the system. So our first training will generate model M1. Second training set will generate model M2. Third training set will generate model M3 and fourth training set will generate model M4. Now suppose we have a data set like FA1, FA2 and FA3. So this is our data set with uh, three features. Now we will use the SBM based classifier and test it against model 1. Now suppose our classification system gives the score positive class level against model M1 with probability like 0.16 and against model M2 our classification system or SBM classifier gives the score like negative class with classification probability like this with model M3 suppose it is like uh, plus 1 with uh, classification 0 0.78 and uh, with model M4 it is like negative class with classification probability 0.33 now we will check the class level and probability according to the class level and probability 
it seems that it shows positive class level with highest probability score with model M3. So this data will be assigned to class 3. Now suppose we have some flexibility that a data set may have overlapping classes then we can we can assign this data set as another overlapping class like class 1 as it shows positive score positive class symbol with some positive probability so this is the general classification with one versus all classification technique some other techniques are also useful for one uh, for multi class classification like uh, one versus one but the problem is suppose we have total n different classes then in this case one versus one technique will prepare total this amount of binary classifier and here in the case of n is equal to 4 it will be like binary classifiers you can see all those binary classifiers like it will be like c1 versus c2 c1 versus c3 c1 versus c4 and again c2 versus c3 c2 versus c4 or c3 versus c4 so these are total six binary classifiers if n is uh, value of n is very high then total number of binary classes will be very high that's why one versus all is considered as a more efficient way to classify multi class systems now we will demonstrate before going to demonstrate the entire system we will first explain the data set actually data set is available at uh, UCI machine learning repository I have used the class identification data set this data set contains total 214 instances and uh, 10 attributes here the details of attributes are given the first uh, attribute is ID number rest of the attributes are the some features related to class and last attributes represents the classes of the class so total seven classes are defined for a particular type of class for example class seven represents all the classes which are used to prepare the headlamps here it is important to note that there is no entry for the glass having type 4 now you can see the data set here so this is the data set from the data set it is clear that this is the first uh, column so the id number of the data set last column represents the class level now in this case as we have total six classes as one class doesn't contain any data set so we will prepare total six binary classifier in the first case we will use all the classes all the data records which belongs to class one as a positively classified level and all the data sets which belongs to different classes we will use negative symbol or minus one as a class level for the data set similarly we will prepare total six different training sets so now you can see the training set that we prepare so we have total six training set in the first training set all the data records having class level one has assigned a class plus one and all the data sets related to some other class levels are assigned different class level like minus one 
we have removed the record id similarly we prepared the data set training set 2 training set 3 5 6 and 7 in the training set 7 all the records related to class 7 has given positive class level or plus 1 and rest of the classes got negative class level or minus 1 now the test data set actually the test to prepare the test data set we extracted some data sets randomly from the tra from the given data set and we removed those data sets instances from the training set these are the class level for the data set first two data sets represents the positive class level next two is uh, related to class 2 next two is related to class 3 next is related to class 5 next is related to class 6 and finally last one is related to class 7 we removed those class level and uh, stored it in a different file so this is the file now we will run the system to demonstrate the but before going to final demonstration let us explain we have implemented the entire system by using csr.net and uh, we use the machine learning library accord.net available at this website NuGet website and you have to before running this system you have to install the accord.net machine learning package through your package manager console of visual studio now you can see the code this uh, i have used uh, two different training ways to train the system first is related to by using gaussian and second is uh, by using simple linear function to train the system and then we tested the system so to demonstrate we will run this system now we will use the first training set and store the model file here now you can see the model file here this is our model file it is important to note that store all model file in dot svm extension or some any other extension other than dot txt to avoid some data set related error now we will use this model set to test our system so first of all we will use this model and uh, open our test file and store the result here now you can see the analysis here for the first two classes you can see the accuracy here first one is correctly classified second one is not correctly classified so now and the rest of them are also negatively classified with respect to classification model 1 now test the system again with different model so first of all we will use a different training set second model we will store the model here now you can see the model this is our second model so by we will test the system with respect to second model Restore here, and now you can see the another analysis. Now, in this result, you can see that when we tested our system with a different second model, we can see that all the classes which are related to second class are positively classified with some high probability value. This indicates that uh, multi-class classification by using one versus all is working here. We can repeat the process by using model 3, model 4, model 5, 6 and 7. And finally we will use the classification label and probability score as I discussed here. And then finally assign the 
class for each of the given data set. Thanks.